In this video, we will conclude our discussion on restrictive lung disorder by discussing the last of the disorders and that is known as smoking related interstitial disease. I always say that pay special attention to the name of the disorder. Sometimes you get substantial clues hidden in the name. So for example, smoking related interstitial disease obviously is the interstitial lung disorder or restrictive lung disorder where the connective tissue will be disturbed and this disorder is associated with smoking and hence the name smoking related interstitial disorder. Thank God they don't call it usually SRIED because medicine map you know that we fancy names and very happy. But this one is simply known as a smoking related interstitial disorder. In addition to the obstructive lung disease, which we talked about COPD, smoking is also associated with restrictive lung disease. As a general principle, if I talk to you, uh, smoking is related to almost anything associated with any lung disorder because it contains a lot of chemicals. Uh, so much so that it also contains carcinogens. So all those chemicals have implications, you know, and they are involved in almost any sort of lung disorder. So smoking can cause obstructive lung disorder as we discussed in COPD. Smoking also causes restrictive lung disorder as we are discussing right now. D. Squamative interstitial pneumonia. Dekha na naam diya hai DIP. D. Squamative interstitial pneumonia and respiratory bronchiolitis are two related examples of smoking related interstitial lung disorder. So, is group ke andar, these two disorders are involved. Number one is DIP and the number two is RB which is respiratory bronchiolitis, inflammation of bronchioles. The most striking histological feature of D. squamative interstitial pneumonia is the accumulation of large number of macrophages containing dusty brown pigment in the air spaces. So if you look at the air spaces, you found these, you know, dusty brown. Let me find out the relevant figure for you, which is 13.23. Let me find where is it. So there you go. So if you look at this particular diagram, this represents uh, D. squamative interstitial pneumonia. There is accumulation of large number of macrophages, not very clear on this magnification. So I will put a question mark on this image. Uh, not too clear but you can anyway see these are the air spaces and within the air spaces you can appreciate there are macrophages present so they are not typically appearing brownish in color in this particular diagram but for you, what you can appreciate that within the air spaces there are a few macrophages sitting there right so that is the most striking uh, and characteristic feature the alveolar septa are thickened by a sparse inflammatory infiltrate which are usually lymphocytes so if this is one alveoli this is the other alveoli then there is septal involvement of lymphocytes infiltration pulmonary function test usually show a restrictive abnormality and overall patients with DIP, D. squamative interstitial pneumonia, have a good prognosis. So that's a good news and they respond excellently to smoking cessation and steroid therapy. So here you go. The treatment is good. The prognosis is good. You just need to identify the disorder and stop smoking, give a little bit of steroids and the patients are fine. On the other hand, the respiratory bronchiolitis is a common lesion found in smokers that is characterized by the presence of pigmented intraluminal macrophages akin to those in DIP but in the bronchial uh, low centric distribution. So although these are almost similar to what we see in DIP, there are macrophages within the air spaces but primarily only to the bronchiolar uh, distribution. So first and second order respiratory bronchioles and not uh, anything other than that. So they have a specific anatomical geographical location and hence you label them bronchiolitis because they are present in the first and second order bronchioles. Mild peribronchiolar fibrosis is also seen. The word peribronchiolar means bronchiol ke ird gird, peribronchiolar fibrosis and therefore it is a restrictive lung disorder. As with DIP, Affected patients presented with gradual onset dyspnea and dry curve, the symptoms recede if you stop smoking. So that's kind of a generalized inflammation of the respiratory system, particularly the um, uh, bronchial alveoli area. And uh, it is usually okay if you quit smoking and a little bit of steroids. So see, smoking bahut garbar kar sakta hai, but stopping or cessation of smoking can also help you big time.
so that's the simple stuff all about smoking related disorders so this then concludes our discussion about all the restrictive disorders that was pretty long uh, section but uh, now this is done and in the next video we will start uh, some pulmonary diseases uh, which have vascular origin so vessels key disease vascular associated disorders affecting the respiratory system is our next target stay tuned